Hey everybody, George here and welcome back to the channel. So a couple of people asked me on my Facebook page about this new tank that I put together here. This is really just a rescape of the old Angel Bluff tank that I had for a long time. Uh, it was one of one of my favorite tanks and it was a favorite tank of a lot of people so uh, I did something similar to it but with a little bit nicer design I think uh, probably one of my best designs that I've done in a very long time but one of the questions that was asked on uh, the uh, Facebook um, social media side of this channel is uh, what is the slime on the wood? So for those of you who are not familiar with uh, scaping a tank and putting a new piece of wood in there, one that has not been seasoned, in other words, the, the wood has never been in water before, submerged totally, and put it uh, estimated 81 degrees in here. Well, that is basically just carbohydrates and sugar that are leaching out of the wood and producing this slime that is sort of unsightly on here. Now, the bigger question and the more broader question that is asked by people who are not familiar with this is, is it harmful to your fish? And the quick answer to that is no. And I'm gonna to explain to you exactly why that is a no. Number one, the carbohydrates and sugar that are in uh, the uh, tank from the wood that is leaching them out is really actually nothing more than um, organics that are coming off the wood. And a couple of things uh, will happen with this. Number one, it can last from two days to two weeks or sometimes even longer, depending on how well you maintain your tanks. And if you're willing to get in there and scrub it off, if you think it's so unsightly. The second thing that can happen is if you have a good variety of fish that do not mind using this as a food source, such as I do. In this particular case, I do have down here, you'll notice that I do have the uh, albino pleco bristle nose that guy is eating this stuff constantly and uh, also the two Siamese algae eaters that you'll see over in this area here this is a great source of food for them and I have even seen the angels and the Corydoras picking at it now the Epistle Grama he doesn't have any um, desire to eat this stuff at all but here's the bottom line there is nothing about this carbohydrate uh, that is leaching out of this wood that is going to be harmful to your tank. So the simple answer is no, it will not harm your tank. A couple of different things you can do if it's unsightly to you or it is bothering you, I would uh, tell you that you should take and use a toothbrush and every day when you're doing a water change, which you should be in a new tank anyway, scrub some of this off in places where it's built up the heaviest and uh, leave some of it for food for your fish. But scrub it off with a toothbrush. It takes a few more minutes uh, of, uh, you know, just a little bit of detailed work in your tank, but it will absolutely leave uh, behind just plain old wood. Now, will it come back the next day? Maybe not. Will it come back within a few days? Yes, it will, because it's a process. This takes a little while for all of these carbohydrates to come out of these pieces of wood. Now, it really depends on the wood. Spider wood, which is what I have in this tank, is notoriously bad for having a buildup of this film on the uh, branches that you see in the tank here. Again, it is absolutely harmless to your fish. So if you don't mind having it in there, you can look at it as a food source for your fish. As you can see, uh, the Siamese algae eater is uh, picking at it. The Corydoras are picking at it and also the Pleco. So I 
basically, because this is a new tank, I've been doing water changes every day on it to keep it in pristine shape and to make everything uh, look really nice in here. But the things that you don't see is me scrubbing the wood off and uh, doing the work to get this stuff off the wood uh, if I want the tank to look a little bit nicer, if I've got friends coming over or whatever. So this has been going for about four days now. And again, this is spider wood. So spider wood can be notoriously difficult to get this process through a little faster and may take a little more time. So know that, but at the same time, know that there is nothing that is in this stuff the carbohydrates and the sugar, like I said, that are leaching out and causing this film are not going to harm your fish. And that's the good news. And the second piece of good news is it's a food source for your fish. They like it. Uh, certain fish just absolutely like this stuff. The one thing that you're going to have to do, however, is do more water changes. And I want you to understand, as I've always said, just because your water looks crystal clear uh, does not mean that your water is in perfect shape. So you want to make sure that you're staying up on those water changes as recommended. And I'm not going to get into the whole how many water changes you should do and whatever, but I've been doing about a 30% water change every single day on this tank. And as I'm doing that, I've been taking a toothbrush and getting up into these little V-shaped areas and places like that that tend to be ignored by your fish and uh, getting in there and working at uh, getting some of this stuff off. So to make this uh, video short and uh, to get your answers to your questions out there and to relieve you of um, any concerns that you might have about my tank or many of you are going through the same thing. You've been wondering what this is. This is exactly what I explained. Just some carbohydrates and sugar leaching out and it is absolutely harmless to your fish. So leave your comments down below. Give me that thumbs up for a like on the video. I really appreciate it. That really helps the channel. Also, um, comment if you've had experience with this or are having experience with this right now and are concerned about it please let me know please let me know because hopefully this is going to take some of those concerns and relieve them and let you not be stressed out about what is happening with the piece of wood that you just put in your aquarium and uh, the other thing I want to tell you is if you want to speed up the process, I keep my tanks at about 81 degrees. The warmer the tank, the faster the process. Now, be very careful because the fish that you have in your tank, make sure that they can tolerate the higher temperatures. If they are not known for uh, tolerating higher temperatures, then you absolutely don't want to do the higher temperature approach. You just want to wait this out. The second thing that you can do that is really fast at getting this out is boil the wood. The problem with why I didn't boil this piece of wood is because there's not a pan big enough or, or a, uh, uh, a uh, big I don't even know what they call them, but I mean, these big cauldrons that people put on their uh, cooktops to cook spaghetti and stuff like that in, um, there's not a big enough one to fit this in there or I would have done it because I typically will take a piece of wood like this so that I don't have to go through this process and I will boil it. The second thing you can do is boil it and then microwave it for about uh, five to seven minutes. That will push all of the uh, uh, moisture that's in the wood out along with these carbohydrates. Boil it again. You may have to do this two or three times, but it will speed up the process. I know I was going to end this video, but I wanted to get that in there because you can speed up the process of getting this done. And uh, by doing so, you really uh, can relieve yourself of 
any kind of stress that it may be causing you to look at this stuff because it is unsightly. It's not fun to look at. You think there's something wrong with your tank. You think, well, you know, what is going on? Do I have some terrible fungus that's going to harm my fish? And blah, blah, blah. It's absolutely harmless. Like I said, leave your comments down below. Share this with your friends, any of your friends that may have concerns or questions about this very thing. Now you've got a video that you can show them that is going to relieve their mind of any concerns they might have about the film on the wood in their fish tank. Anyways, also hit that bell up in the left-hand corner here of your uh, screen and any new video that I may have coming out, uh, you will get a notification of that. I didn't really want to be on film this morning, but I really wanted to hit this because I got so many questions on it. Uh, just wasn't prepared to go on film this morning, but uh, anyways, I hope that answered your questions. Take care, and we will see you on the next one. Until then, we're out of here.